needed to find orchestras who really believed in his work, really cared about his work. And so we actually had orchestras from all around America bid um, with, you know, because we wanted really enterprising, really interesting programs. Um, so Louisiana was one of the two that were chosen. We all feel a huge honor because of what this hall is, because what this hall means, because what this hall sounds like. For them, it must be like a dream country even more. So I, I want to honor them and thank them for their faith in an orchestra that rebounded from the ashes and uh, is now in Carnegie Hall uh, and will enjoy a big success today. The Louisiana coming here for the first time, obviously that's huge. And then they've, you know, they've had some very difficult times in the past. So I think also just as something that signifies you know, the complete sort of rehabilitation of the orchestra, the fact that they're in such great shape now, I think this must be symbolically really important for them, I would have thought. I would always like to hear more of the high drum of the this concerto by Philip Glass is really sort of an amazing piece. Uh, there are timpani concertos in the repertoire, which people might not expect. This was the first timpani concerto for two timpanists. And uh, it was commissioned by a New Yorker, uh, Jonathan Haas, a well-known percussionist and timpanist here in town. And uh, he convinced Philip Glass to do this, and we're so glad he did. Philip Glass just... Uh, just did an amazing thing when he created this piece. It's been performed hundreds of times around the world, uh, and it is, I always describe it as unaccountably exciting. I don't know why it is, but audiences always love it, and I'm so glad they do. We are enjoying a very good moment of audience response. Uh, so I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of New Orleans. I'm very proud of the Louisiana Philharmonic's role in rebuilding New Orleans.